What's up, y'all? Got a banger from FBE Capital. Let's get straight into it. Obviously, he dates young, hot women. And typically, once they turn age 25, they age out. He cuts them off. When Leo. you're dating a 20 year old and you're in your 40s, they don't have anything to base this back. They have no experience, an experienced teacher of life. We don't value your experience. Shots fired! Shots fired! All your experience means is that you're a... She's a runner, she's a track star. Why would we value that? Mileage, trauma, we don't care about none of that. Older men date significantly younger women because women their own age don't want them. <laughs> Can you imagine? Jason Statham, other women his age don't want him. Stop the cap, honey. I am 54. I don't really want to date a 27-year-old or a 31-year-old. No, because I don't want to Just date you endless either. male privilege. And here we are, 48 mm. hours past the date and I have not heard a word even though I have reached out. Younger woman, please stop dating these old ass dudes. Can't hide it. There are tears of frustration this week. She's damaged. All because a 40 year old wants to be living his best life. Any guy who goes after a girl significantly younger than them is severely lacking. Oh man, the wise words from Mia Khalifa. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> Yep, that's right. Wherever there is a happy 40-year-old man just enjoying his life with a beautiful 24-year-old on his arm, there's always a sour, angry 40-year-old trying to kill that relationship. I think it's super important for young women to understand the reasons older men want to be with you. They are looking for somebody to easily control and manipulate someone that will look up to them. And this unholy... No, we're just looking for a woman that's fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and has no children outside of us. It's quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. That's what we're looking for. A woman that can get on our page. The older you get, the more combative you are, the more masculine you are. We're looking for the complete opposite. Fit, feminine, inspirational. Come on. Holy Trinity has only increased in recent years because women have been sold lie after lie after Facts. lie by other women Oof. telling them that what men really that want necklace, is though? a career-driven, highly successful, mature woman who is emotionally intelligent, in therapy, and has tons of experience. See, here's the thing. This checklist right here, this is what women want in a man. These modern women have literally gone out and became the man that they've wanted to be with. That's what they've done. They've gone out and acquired all of the checklist items that they would want in a man. Now they're career-driven, successful, mature, emotionally intelligent, which I think is an oxymoron. In therapy, we don't care about and tons of experience. We don't want tons of experience. We don't want mileage. We don't want trauma. It's just crazy to me that these women can't realize that they're literally turning into the men that they want. I'm financially independent. I got two raises so far at don't work. Care. I'm a homeowner. I have care. amazing family and friends. That's good. And obviously my standards have changed so much since I was 20. Like oh, you Lord. really have to See, here's the thing, dude. Ladies, 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 ladies. As you get older, your standards should actually go down. And as men, as we get older, our standard goes up. Because here's the thing. As men, we age like fine wine left in a cellar in Italy. Like a, a beautiful wine cellar underground where it's climate controlled. As far as ladies, Y'all age like yogurt left out in Texas in the middle of the highway in July. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all just don't age well when you get older. We do. I have value to my life for me to even consider talking to you. Yep, that's exactly what we Whose want. Blazer is so that? sexy. I mean, it's absolutely hilarious how every time women start listing their reasons on why men should date them or why they are Oof. a good catch, they start off with having a great job, knowing their worth, we don't care, we and don't that care. they are incredibly independent. I'm very financially stable. Okay. I provide everything for myself. Wait a minute. Have you guys seen Hotel Transylvania? Shots fired! Shots fired! Looks like she needs to blow her nose. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm completely independent. I think I'm a catch. Like, no. I'm successful in my career. I care. can hold my own. I'm don't financially care. independent. Don't I care. have a great family. That's I'm, good. I have a good personality. That's good. I'm attractive. I'm, I had all this confidence. So don't I was like, what? Am I getting rejected? Which just shows you how little women understand what men actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm just holding my tongue. Find attractive. Anyways, it's obvious that these women in their 30s and 40s are so desperately trying to gatekeep young women. Younger women, please stop dating these old ass dudes because one of the main reasons they want to be with you is because they think you're too gullible and you deserve better. You gotta yes, younger it. women, you deserve better. Now give us back our old... What's, yeah, what's better than an older, good-looking, financially stable guy?
rich, successful, handsome guys that are still able to date a 24 year old because you deserve better. Yeah. I mean, come what's on, better? man. It's so obvious what's going on here. And yet they are selling it as if they are helping out. It's just ridiculous. But the joke is these 24 year olds are not being forced to date older men. In fact, many of them are actively seeking them out. I think that the oldest was 20 years older than me and I was 25. What kind of like helped me get over that hump is that the guy was very good looking. That helps. Yeah, he, had, he looked amazing. That's right, you heard it correctly. This guy was still looking excellent in his early 40s, which is why she was attracted to him mm -hmm. as a 25 year old. Age like and it's probably because he was using excellent skincare for many years, which is why I'm proud to announce today's sponsor, Teej Hanley, to help you do just that. Now, in addition to working out and eating healthy- Good old Teej Hanley. Shout out to the good old Tiege Henley. Let's get back into this. So this complete lack of understanding men, or perhaps even willingness to understand men, is what hits them so hard as they get older when they find out they've been lied to. Many women spend their 20s becoming educated and financially stable. When they finally achieve independence and look for men who've done the same, they realize the men are not looking for powerful, independent women in their 30s. Now, instead Preach. of taking this newfound knowledge and going, hmm, maybe we should rethink things, they actually doubled down and now try to shame men for not wanting them. I love it. They're actually looking for attractive younger women in their 20s that will make them feel powerful. Ooh, you can just taste the bitterness dripping off the screen. Yeah. Please drop a like on the video if you agree that this is a fully self-induced problem that women are now trying to blame on men and comment down below what you think. But this is simply what you get when you live in an echo chamber of women telling other women what men should want and not what men actually want. As men, we give each other realistic advice that is actually useful, such as go to the gym, eat healthy, get your finances right, and stop being desperate. All of which will instantly make you more attractive to any woman you might come across. Because these actually target Yeah, the dude, this is why I say don't chase the things that you want. Attract them. If you want women, you need to be in shape and you need to have money. It's as simple as that. You need to be, you need to be groomed. You need to be a king. Keen, impervious, noble, and groomed. You gotta look the part, man. And then you always got to wear cologne because the first hole you penetrate is her nostrils. <laughs> got to wear cologne, buddy. <laughs> what I've been wearing lately, uh, recently is this E Saint Laurent. It's really good. Things that women are looking for. However, women look at themselves from a female perspective mm -hmm. and they target things that they find attractive themselves, after which they complain that guys don't want that. They realize the men are not looking for powerful, independent women in their 30s. We never told you we were. Yeah, ever. Now, this whole debate about older men dating women in their 20s has nothing to do with protecting younger women, since these are fully grown adults that can vote, drink, and know exactly what they're doing. No, it's simply about older women trying to force the guys that they want to date to only date them, mm -hmm. since they are noticing that their options in the dating market aren't that great. I got on this app and I must say that the choices and options were devastated. You know, once you hit 40, it's slim pickings, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's gonna be attractive. Everybody's thinking the same thing about you though. That's what I don't get. They think it's slim pickings with the men and slim pickings with you older women too. And so when your own dating pool is seeing an outflux of handsome, successful 40 year olds running over to the 24 year olds and having a blast while doing so, then of course you have to go on the attack by pretending as if they're out there protecting the Vivica Fox. You know, hey, shout out to Vivica Fox, man. Vivica Fox, she liked one of my Instagram posts. Shout out to you, Vivica. Young, naive, fragile little 22 year olds as if they're newborn babies. Guys date younger women because they're easily manipulated. They're it. gonna be very happy with a few crumbs. Especially those it. that are much younger than you because it kind of seems like they might be a little easier to control. They're looking for someone easier to impress, to manipulate and mold. I think it also depends on how old the younger person is. To me, I think by 30, it's a fair playing field. Right. By is 30, is it, so should we change the age of what a consenting adult is to 30? Ladies, it's 18. Get over it. Just say you're mad and keep it pushed. Blatant bull, also known as moving the goalpost whenever it suits you, since the world was perfectly fine to let a 16-year-old girl tell them how to live their lives and to tell world leaders how they should govern their countries at the freaking UN. But somehow a 21 year old is too stupid and inexperienced to determine who she wants to right. date and every single older guy that tries to date her <laughs> is only doing so to take advantage of her silly little brain. You lack experience and you're naive in the 
world of dating and you're easy to mold. It Tell is- me you've been ran without telling me you've been ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. Honey, you got trauma, it's okay. Absolutely ridiculous, and it exposes the truth, which is that older women are simply bitter and angry that men their own age rather date a 24-year-old. Mm-hmm. Middle-aged women do not like to see an older man going for a much younger woman because it is a threat. I think it's actually very personal. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that if even if they're married, right, they're not even in the dating world. So, like, why should they care? Yeah. But they still feel a threat because what it means. So clearly, older men and younger women can like each other for their looks. However, for men, there's a very simple reason to date younger women that has nothing to do with beauty at all. See if you can spot it from this clip. What is it that you think we need y'all for? I I would love to know. What do we need y'all for? A woman, an unmarried woman in her 50s want to get into a committed monogamous relationship with a man right now. What benefit is it for her to do that? Let me make something perfectly clear to you. I do not need a man. I can find them- What I love so much, dude, (laughs) is they have to get on TikTok to talk about it. (laughs) If you don't need a man, why are you online complaining about not needing a man? I, I just can't, the logic isn't logicking for me. Like if I don't need something, I'm not gonna go talk about me not needing it. It's like me getting on TikTok and being like, I don't need air. I don't need it. Like, what does it matter? Why are you talking about something you don't need? Keep it pushing. Why are you online crying about this stuff? It's just like, people expose themselves so easily when they get online and talk about this stuff. It's like, nobody asked you about it. Nobody said anything. It's just like, you know when you catch somebody doing something and then, then, they, and then they're like, no, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything with her. It's like, bro, I didn't even say anything about that. What are you talking about? It's like these women are speaking from a level of insecurity, but they're projecting to try to convince themselves that they don't need a man when in reality they know they need a man. Convince myself, I can feed myself, and I can feed myself. So when I want a man, it's not to provide those three things. I love you it. Can't wait to date any of these lovelies. Yeah. Sign me up. Now another reason why these older women are so frustrated and angry about men dating younger women is because they do not want to date younger men. Obviously they like the attention from younger- I bet they can make a good cobbler <laughs> out of those older women. Hopefully you can cook. Men. And there are plenty of men in their 20s trying to hook up wow, with older women. Place. However, those young men are just looking for a good time Oof. and in the eyes of these older women, they possess even less of the qualities that they are looking for. Ask them like, are you looking for a relationship and a lifelong partner or are you looking just to casually date and hook up? And he said casually date and hook up. I'm looking to blow those backs out. Realign some spines, baby. You know, men that young meet women my age who are DTF, you know, down for the funning around. And they think all She's a runner, my she's a track star. I'm not, I'm not that. And I think he thought that I was just gonna go back to his place after one glass of wine. And as soon as I let him know that was not the case, he was real quick to get the, like, let's get the check. So this all creates a very frustrating situation for all the women, since the men that they can have, they don't want, and the men that they do want, don't want them. Which is just a breeding ground for lashing out on social media about how all men are creeps for wanting to date a 24 year old, and that the men that they do go on dates with- That's what I'm saying, you never see the women that are happy in relationships on TikTok talking about men ain't nothing. Men ain't crap. Men ain't shit. You don't see that. Because they're out there living their best life. As that, that, uh, that younger chick with that older guy. She, him and her are out there living their best lives. She ain't got nothing to complain about. But yet these older women are so bitter. They all sucking on lemons. <laughs> Just so bitter. <laughs> are terrible. But the sad truth is, these older women are so busy blowing smoke up each other is about how great they are. Like a woman in her 50s who is divorced, has her kids already, she's literally in the same position as a man in his, um, an unmarried man in his 20s. Very stones of 40 years old. Wait a minute. Actually, I kind of agree with that because most men in their 20s don't have any pull. So maybe she was on something. That have good jobs, they have their goals and dreams and zero baggage whatsoever. That they fail to realize that a lot of them are just a nightmare to deal with and right. that they literally suck the energy out of every possible situation and then call this having experience or knowing their worth. 
Now funny enough, every once in a while, women will accidentally let it slip that they actually do understand why men in their 30s and 40s want to date a 24 year old and that it has nothing to do with controlling or manipulating. Which is why I think older men sometimes date younger women, because it's easy. There's an easiness to it. They're, they're not as damaged by life and jaded and all the other things that happen. I have them too. I'm an older woman with, you know, job problems and kid problems, uh, but it's nice. To, to kind of be with somebody who you can just get away from all of that. You see, the reality of it all is that women in their 20s are much more spontaneous, easygoing, and are simply looking to have fun, which older women will classify as being naive and easy to manipulate because the younger woman doesn't have the same goals as her. So as you can see, older women keep yelling that they have their own house, their own cars, and that they pay their own bills, as if that's some sort of flex. Cousin I mean is Pinocchio. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I mean, who the hell else was supposed to do that? You're a single 40 year old woman, you should pay your own bills. That's just basic functioning as an adult. Facts. But as soon as men say, okay, you say you don't need us, bye, and start dating 24 year olds, then all of a sudden it's please date women your own age. So older women, listen up. You can't tell two consenting adults that they can't be in a relationship simply because you are jealous. That's very much a you problem. This was why women get furious when men date. Well, that's what, I, here's, here's the thing, man. Look, you go to your place. They wanna see you, go to your place, lay down. Um, here's the thing, man. This is why I'm so big on accountability. Ladies, if you just took the accountability and said, you know what, I, I blew my time in my 20s. Blue, <laughs> I guess, maybe isn't the best word to use. <laughs> I blew it. Um, you, you blew your chances. You had your ad bats. Universe gives you usually around three pitches, and if you strike out, you strike out. Now you gotta realize that as you get older, your dating pool gets smaller. This is why I say when women are young, the, the pool of, or the, the size of men, uh, what's the best way to put this? The dating pool that they have, even though we'll get to a pool in a second, but the dating pool that they have, it first off starts as an ocean, and then it becomes a lake and then it becomes a pond, and then it becomes a pool, and then it becomes a kiddie pool, and then it becomes like a puddle. And a lot of these women that are in their 40s and on, it's a puddle. You really don't have a lot of men. And a lot of the men that would commit to you and that would be in a relationship with you, you think you're better than them. And the thing is, you're not better than them. That's what it is. Life is a mirror, not a window. That's who you attract. You attract what you are. I'll say it again for the ones in the back. You attract what you are. If you keep attracting men that ain't worth it or that's not up to your standards, that's probably where you're at. You're probably shooting right there. That's, that's probably where you're at. That's why you need to have some real friends around you. You need to have a good circle of friends. And this is this is the problem with ladies, though. It's like they usually surround themselves with yes women, just like there's yes men. Yes men that just gas up their friends. Like, yeah, dude, you're great, dude. Yeah, you're awesome. I like that, but like, I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments. The guys that I'm really, really close to, we riff on each other, we rip on each other, we roast each other constantly. We'll get on Call of Duty, and I get, I, I, they call me nine head probably 20 times. They say that I have a lazy eye, Dumbo ears, you know, like a crooked nose, a bird beak chin, a pot belt. Like they, they really go in on me, but we all do the same thing with each other. We all roast each other. Women don't necessarily do that because they take it so personally. Men, as men, we riff on each other all the time. Like I said, let me know in the comments. Do you riff? Do you have buddies and you guys just roast each other and riff on each other all the time? That's just what we do as men. And as women, they don't do that. They gas each other up. Girl, you're so great. They ignore all the negative and all the bad things. And then they just talk about how great they are. Girl, you're so great. Oh, I know you're single and alone. Girl, it's okay. Just know your worth. A guy will come along eventually. Like, don't settle. Like, men, we never say that. I'm like, bro, you need to be getting, you need to be trying to get what you can get. If you can find a woman that's willing to get on your, Loki, what are you doing? Are you licking your butt again? Stop it. Um, but that's the thing. As, as women get older, their value goes down. As men get older, our value goes up typically because we, yeah, we make more money, we have more status and things like that. So guys, go out there and get you a younger woman. And they, yes, they are easier to impress. They have less trauma. They have less, less insecurities. They're not as masculine. They're not as independent. They're not as entitled. So why wouldn't we want to go with a younger woman when they look better, they're less entitled, they don't have as much trauma? Like, what is there not to like? Once again, a, a quote from Kevin Samuel, shout out to the Godfather. 
When a woman makes a man of her present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of her past, there will be no future. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.